Hey, I'm Dave Arnold from Booker and Dax, and welcome to Cocktail University. Today we are going to do the gin and tonic. Now, the gin and tonic seems like a simple drink, but most of the time they're terrible. And the reason is you're pouring warm gin onto ice and then adding tonic water to it. You're losing all the bubbles and you're getting a drink that's way too diluted. So what we do at Booker and Dax is instead of pouring it all over ice and using warm gin, we actually carbonate a mixture of gin, water, a little bit of simple syrup, and then at the very end we add clarified lime juice. We don't add that one at the beginning because it doesn't keep very long, all right? So this drink is very easy for us to make afterwards, but a little harder for us to make beforehand. The way we make tonic water is we make a solution of quinine sulfate, which is what gives the bitterness to tonic, and then add to it simply sugar and gin. Hard part is you have to chill it to a very precise temperature. At home, what I recommend you do is keep your gin in the freezer for making gin and tonics. And then keep your tonic water very, very cold. And squeeze the lime in at the last minute. And that's gonna make the best gin and tonics for home. Add the lime. We serve it in chilled flute because carbonated beverages are best in flutes, like champagne, and I don't want ice in there to water it down further and to ruin the bubbles. Cheers.